guys welcome in come on in come on in so glad that you guys are here we're gonna make a quick lunch today because I know TLA is live but I'm hungry I hope you guys are hungry so we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, as always I'll introduce myself I am Maggie I am your substitute teacher welcome come on into class you all have named yourselves Maggie scholars I'm just a mom I'm a boy mom times two and I'm a home cooker uh, that's what the boys used to call me so um, I've been on a health and wellness journey uh, so far maintaining a 75 pound weight loss with at least 25 more to go. I've done this by getting tested for food sensitivities. That's my list back there on the fridge. So I basically have a list of foods that I can have and cannot have. But what I do here on our cooking class, um, I basically just go over recipes of stuff that I used to eat or would cook for the family, but I substitute the ingredients that have been approved for me. Um, you're always welcome to have the full flavor version and we'll talk about that. But let's go ahead and get started. I know it's the middle of the day. I'm between meetings and watching lead so thank you so much for being here I'm gonna start by washing my hands links are in the description I'm also a Scentsy consultant so this is Luna Jasmine sweet pea berries and sandalwood and I'm gonna go ahead and put my apron on Quick shout out, you'll also see me tonight on uh, Suzette Speaks. I'm going to be making um, some meal recommendations for her from her list of ingredients. So really excited about that. So we're going to be making a either fried chicken salad or crispy chicken salad, whatever you want to call it. I want a lot on my salad, so I'm gonna start with uh, some boiled eggs. We're gonna put those in the microwave and get our chicken in the air fryer, and I'll show you what I'm using. Yes, again, thank you so much, Mona, for the links. This is um, an egg pod. I think I just got it at Walmart. You can microwave. Uh, boiled eggs or you can boil eggs in the microwave it's just another little gadget I'll see if I can get the links for you guys because I'm starting to put those in the description you just put a little bit of water and it's got a setting for four eggs so I'm using whole eggs because I want to make like a cob salad we're gonna see if we can do a quick maybe some bacon and some crispy chicken tenders I have brown eggs you can use whatever you like whatever you like Oh, make sure my phone is on do not disturb. All right, so for our boiled eggs, we literally just put them in the little divots that you saw there. Then I'm gonna put them in the microwave for eight minutes, which is for hard boiled eggs. If you like them soft boiled, then you just do less time. Then I'm gonna take them out and then I'm gonna rinse them under cool water. Hope y'all are doing well. All right, so let's get started on the chicken. Yes, tonight I will be on Suzette Speaks. I am so excited. All right. So this is what I'm using for chicken tenders. You guys have seen me use this before. This is Kali Power. Uh, you can get it at Whole Foods. I think this might've come from Publix, I don't know. But they're fully cooked uh, chicken tenders. They're supposed to be frozen, but I put them in the fridge, so we're gonna use them. But they're breaded with cauliflower instead of flour. I can't have gluten. That came up on my food sensitivity, so this is what's gonna give me the fried chicken or the crispy chicken experience. So you guys see here, just regular old chicken tenders. So my air fryer, if you caught the um, video last night, I can put multiple things in there with different shells. So we are going to line a tray with foil and then we're gonna put our chicken tenders on the rack and get those in the air fryer. So 
So this is completely optional. I'm just doing it for easy cleanup. Absolutely. I'm excited to. And again, optional, but I'm going to spray this rack just so that nothing, um, nothing uh, sticks because I want all my food. I only eat two meals a day and I come on live when I'm going to eat and I cook for you guys and I'm actually going to eat it. So you guys are here to hold me accountable, help me age gracefully. Somebody asked about this, so I need to put the uh, sprayer in. This is the MCT coconut oil that I'm approved for, and I just put it in this refillable sprayer, and I spray over the sink, because I don't want the oil on my counters. We've got our rack here. You're right, Mona. I know, the final plating, absolutely, because presentation is important. At least it's important to me. We all eat with our eyes first. So I just have a paper towel here. I don't know what a portion is, but I'm hungry, y'all. I haven't eaten anything today, just uh, coffee. So you can see they look like just regular old chicken tenders. So I'll do three. What is a portion? About two pieces. Well, you know what? This is what I'm going for. So I'm gonna put these chicken tenders in the air fryer. <clears throat> I was trying to think if I wanted turkey bacon on my, um, uh, no, I've had them before, Mona. I've had the spicy ones. I love that with the, um, the chicken parm. Y'all, I'm going to do some turkey bacon. I'm hungry. This is just regular old butterball turkey bacon. So I'm going to cook them both at the same time. I'm going to grab my tray and put a couple slices of turkey bacon on there. Or even better, I'll get a new tray and put it right up underneath that. You guys were on last night. You saw the candy bacon with me and Alex. You already know turkey bacon. It's kind of like deli meat, but I'm going to try and crisp it up. The way to get it more palatable for me is to um, do fresh cracked pepper. So this is regular butterball turkey bacon, and by itself it's kind of bland. If you can have real bacon, please have some for me. But you want to go liberal with your fresh cracked pepper. Hey, Uncle Stu. Oh, my God, y'all. We got a celebrity in the house. Uncle Stu. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, tonight I'll be cooking live for Miss Suzette Speaks. So excited. She reached out to me, but Uncle Stu was my first to reach out and ask me for an interview. So if you all want to know more about Maggie, check out the full interview or he did like a little um, summary interview if you only have like five minutes or so. All right. So you see here, I just put fresh cracked pepper on our turkey bacon. For me, that's the way to get it more palatable. So I'm gonna put this in underneath the chicken tenders. I'll show you. All right, so again, we've got our chicken tenders, but these are cauliflower. So it counts as a vegetable for me. There's no bread on it. It's breaded with cauliflower. And then I have my turkey bacon. An air fryer has a fan inside. That's how it crisps up and cooks faster. So I'm going to put them in the air fryer like this. So the turkey bacon is underneath so it stays in here and it won't fly around in my air fryer. Because if you don't have light items like uh, tortillas or bacon pieces, they can fly around. Or at least that's mine. So it's going to go in like this. All right, so y'all know I'm not good with times and temperatures. I use the French fry setting, which is 400 um, for 15 minutes, but my mom taught me to cook with all of my senses. So we're going to look and look for that color change. We want a little bit darker brown and then the texture of the bacon. We want to try and get it as crispy as we can. All right, gosh, I'm hungry. All right, this is our little lunch break class. We're going to go back to work or listening to TLA. So let's get started on our salad. Uh, start plating. I want to make it as colorful as I can. So I've got a few veggies we're going to chop up. 
and just make a quick salad. a little accident in the fridge. I'm gonna have to take everything out. I had some liquid eggs and they spilt over, but it's okay. We're gonna get this together. Of course, the spinach was all the way in the back. So I've got some fresh spinach here. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Hey, oh! We have a celebrity, a, <laughs> I am so honored. Lead attorney is here. All right, I'm making a warm. Wow, it's my absolute honor to have you here. I have learned so much from you, but y'all it's lunchtime, so let's get cracking. But thank you, lead attorney, for your wisdom, for your leadership, for your teaching, for your course, for everything. All right, let me wash my hands. All right, so when it comes to salads, you can use whatever greens that you want to use. Oh, and merch is coming, you guys asked. I just have a little Maggie apron, but merch is coming. If you check my community tab, you have a sneak peek of uh, what I'm building for you guys. My scholars have asked for Maggie merch, so it's coming. So you can use whatever greens you want on a salad. I don't eat iceberg lettuce because it's mostly water. If you eat iceberg lettuce, that's fine. Eat what you like but I am using spinach. I'll also use romaine or mixed greens or anything that has more nutrition. I only eat two meals a day, so I want my meals to really fill me up. Absolutely. All right, so let me get my fancy plate. All right, it's fancy to me. It's just a square plate. Of course, I have the regular round dinner plates, but because we all eat with our eyes first, I like to have like one nice plate and one nice cup and one nice of things just for me, just for me. So that, you know, the meals that I make, I actually look forward to eating them. Presentation is important. A little fun fact about Maggie, I am a former Coca-Cola executive and I used to manage a team of managers for our global headquarters that took care of all of the amenities and services on campus. So we had seven restaurants, one for each uh, continent. We had a fitness center, we had a CVS pharmacy, we had an Emory clinic, all of those services on campus. So think of the Google model or the Amazon model. And um, that team reported to me. Now, thankfully, I work from home um, and I'm so grateful for that. But a lot of my experience in the white glove service that I like to do comes from my corporate background. So thank you all for listening and watching. And that's where some of this comes from. All right, so we've got our plate here with our spinach. I usually go heavier on the protein and lighter on the veggies because believe it or not, sometimes veggies have a lot of sugar. And what I eat is lean protein, some vegetables and fruits, usually the low sugar ones, very little starch and almost no sugar. All right, so we've started with our spinach. My mom taught me to cook when I was little. I didn't have a choice, so... Under age 10, I've been in the kitchen, and she always said that your plate needs to be colorful. So I've got some peppers we're gonna cut and sprinkle on top of that. All right. Cutting board. We've got a pepper hat from a yellow pepper. If you guys remember, we did the stuffed peppers and we cut them. Don't waste this. You can use this for, you know, whatever you want, whatever you like. Okay. 
and we've got red peppers. You see I used half of it, so I'm gonna cut this up. Just gonna rinse them quickly, but having your veggies already prepped is a great way to just assemble them quickly for a salad. Look at the colors already, isn't that pretty? Hey, Chef Journey or Chef Fit, thank you for being here. Hey, Maria, thank you for being here. Um, having your veggies already prepped is uh, a great way to be able to assemble things quickly. So if you're working between meetings or whatever, you can put them together on a salad. You can put them together in the morning on an omelet, toss in your mushrooms, your vegetables. If you're making a sandwich, you can layer them with extra vegetables for fiber and anything else that you like. So let me rinse these off. So again, for anyone who just joined, our chicken tenders are in the air fryer. We're letting those crisp up. I love a cold salad with warm protein. I know it sounds weird. And we're going to warm our dressing too. So I'm really excited. And I'll show you guys how to make a sugar-free honey mustard. All right, so let me grab a knife. You don't have to have really good knife skills. I'm just going to sharpen, cut it in half and then cut it in half again. Just keep your fingers out of the way. And then you can always follow the natural groove on vegetables. So I'm literally just gonna tear it and tear it apart on the groove, chop, and then chop again. So whenever you're cutting, oh, and I'll show you, you guys one little gadget. Whenever you're cutting, doesn't have to be perfect. You just want a small enough piece that can fit on a fork so that you can put in your mouth and you're not like, because that's not elegant. I wanna represent you all well. So we're just cutting our peppers. You can do slices, you can do dice, you can do whatever you like, whatever you like. And I'll show you guys a little gadget. If you have more money than time, you can buy your veggies already prepped in the grocery store. You'll see them in the produce section, already diced tomatoes or whatever. So we have our red peppers here. I love sweet red peppers. You can eat them raw. You can eat them uh, stuffed with all kinds of stuff. So this is what we have so far. So we'll do half of those. And then we're gonna do our yellow pepper. Just gonna pop out the stem and we'll do half of this. So if you have more time than money, I'll show you guys a quick little gadget that you can get. I think it was 10 bucks at Walmart. There's lots of different versions of this. You may see it called a slap chop or whatever. Kids love this. It's got blades inside and literally, if I assemble it right, you take your vegetables. So I'm just gonna do, you know, our yellow peppers here. I'm just tearing them on the natural seam, if you will. Hey, Snuggles. Snuggles, you keep coming in here asking me to drop the link. But every time you come in here, you remind me about our cook-alongs. So I'm going to talk while I'm chopping and then we'll check on our protein. Okay, so because this is a cooking show and my hands are busy, um, thankfully to Mona, Mona the moderator, she helps me stay on top of everything. But um, we do do cook-alongs in Maggie's class. So what is the cook-along? I'm so glad you asked. If you wanna cook with me, all you have to do is let me know what you want to make. So share the recipe so I can prepare and get the ingredients. I will uh, always make the substitute version. You can make the full flavor version, but we cook in real time side by side. So we have our yellow peppers. Put that on top. And then if you bang, bang, bang. A few times you get a rough chop, which is just bigger pieces. You can keep going to make smaller pieces. So with 10, you guys see I have a pretty fine dice here. Kids love that. All right, so for the cook along, we'll put half on my salad. So far we have spinach and red pepper. So we're gonna put some yellow pepper on here. 
We have eggs in the um, microwave that I'm boiling. Boiling. <laughs> so what we have so far. And I think I'll do some tomato. And um, do I want to put mushroom, red onion? Let me grab... So we've got some tomatoes on the vine. I'll do a little tomato, a little red onion, and I think we're good to go. Let me check on our protein. And then Snuggles, I'm coming back to your cup. Isn't it pretty? See, I'm telling you. And this, you know, I've completely changed the way that I eat now. I actually look forward to stuff like that. It makes me excited. All right, let's check on our chicken. Okay, very good. So you guys see here, and I'll get the bag since we've got some new people in here. So these are our chicken tenders. They're real chicken, but they're coated in cauliflower instead of breading. So if you need to avoid carbs, uh, gluten, this is an option for you. So these are our chicken tenders. So they look really, really good. I'm going to cut them. And then underneath that, if you guys remember, set that down. Oh, my turkey bacon. I know it's not real bacon, but I have turkey bacon that I put in the air fryer. So we're going to cut those and I put them on top. So let's do a little tomato, a little red onion, and then we'll make our um, dressing and we're good to go. And then I'll finish my cook along story. Yes, you like the colors? Thank you, Mona. If my mom was watching, she'd be on me about, Maggie, your ingredients should be prepped and ready. Okay, absolutely, Mona, I got you. All right, so I got a little red onion. I'm just gonna do a slice so we have some slivers. All of these vegetables for the salad are completely optional. Build it the way that you like it. I love onion. Red onion is the only one that I can eat. So one little sliver. Red onion is the only one that I can eat raw. The other ones, they make me cry but I love them sauteed on a burger or in an omelet or uh, Condemia, who is our, one of our channel sponsors. He asked for a veggie omelet, which we made for him. Just you all being here and liking and sharing and coming back makes my day. But if you do want to support the channel, there are options for you. Never asking, but if you want to support, I do have a cash app, it's dollar sign M Brown. And there's also a Venmo. So we've got our, our tomatoes. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. All right. Um, and then there's also a PayPal. So we are on our way growing our little channel here. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only three months old. And you guys have made my day by just being here. I didn't think anybody would be interested, but... Um, it means the world to me. So thank you. Like and share and please consider subscribing if you like what I do. I'm going to wash this tomato really quick. And we're just going to do a little bit. So cut in half. <laughs> and then cut this in half. So you've got your wedges, and then I'm gonna cut in half again and just do a simple dice. Since we already have red pepper on our salad, a little bit of tomato, just for the juiciness. Completely optional, use the vegetables that you like. 
So this is our base. All right, so now we're ready for our warm protein and a uh, warm drizzle. You know what? A little cheese, please. I'm going to use this. This is Whole Foods goat cheese crumbles. So this is my substitute for feta. All right, let's see here. Almost a thousand. Who has a thousand subs? If y'all are telling me I'm almost a thousand, y'all y'all aren't telling me that. The last time I checked, I don't believe it. The last time I checked, I had 600. I will cry on this one. <laughs> stream. I don't want to be. Okay, so focus, Maggie. Stick with the snacks. Can you bread? How do you bread with the cauliflower? Oh, Maria, you have a question about the chicken. Yes, sweetheart. Let me get that for you. I moved fast and I put it away. I buy it. Yes, you can bread it. Kali Power. Kali Power, this is the brand. You buy this in the grocery store, Whole Foods, Target. Um, I don't know where this one came from, but I order everything online. You can see that they're just regular old chicken tenders. Let me get it out for you. You can see they're regular old chicken tenders and I put them in the air fryer. I don't know if you can see that, but coated with cauliflower. So if you're gluten sensitive, if you can't have grains, um, yes, you're welcome, sweetheart. All right. Another thing that came up on my sensitivity results is cow dairy. So I can't have, you know, yogurt, milk, cheese, half and half. I love it, but it doesn't love me. So I'm using goat cheese crumbles. Goat's milk has been a lifesaver for me. I'm just putting a little bit on the salad for color and for creaminess. If you don't like cheese, that's totally fine. Or if you can have dairy, please have your cheddar, have your Monterey Jack, have whatever you like. So this is what we have so far. All right. So now we're going to move to, do I want to make the sauce? Yeah, let's make our quick honey mustard. I'm just gonna use the microwave. I could use the stove, but um, I don't know if lead attorney is still on, but I don't wanna keep you guys too long. All right, it's two ingredients. Let me get them for you. <clears throat> Believe it or not, honey mustard is honey and mustard. Charles, who is this for? I can't take my eyes off of it. All right, but because I avoid sugar, I've got another substitute for you guys. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. One second, class. All right. So regular old honey, this might even be like dollar store honey. It's not even French's, but just regular old honey. And then this right here, sucre and gold. I think I put the link in the description. This is what I'm using for a honey substitute. So if you want a sugar-free alternative that gives you the honey experience, this is, I don't know, from the Netherlands or something. It works great. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick honey mustard. So let's get this open. I have to use my teeth. I don't have nails. No, I don't want to do that. My etiquette teacher might be watching. All right, so let's see if we can... Good. All right, so I'm just using this glass gravy boat from Walmart just because I can kind of see through and I love using it to stir and mix. So we'll start with equal portions, honey. Equal portions... Um, mustard. So I have a little bit left over. That's why I have this one upside down. And then you just stir and taste. That's what Nana taught me. My mom taught me. Taste your food as you're making it. Don't wait to um, sit down in front of the plate. If it's not raw, taste it as you go. All right, we may have to open up another one. So literally just honey and mustard. I'm going to stir and see if it's sweet enough. Okay. Okay. 
If you have um, the cauliflower chicken tenders, you can put them in the air fryer and then this could be like a dipping sauce for you. You, I'm gonna cut mine up and put them over the salad. Oh, our eggs, I forgot about my eggs. One second. All right, so we have a honey mustard here. I'm gonna taste. Good, I want a little bit more sweet, but it is good. You can make it as sweet or tangy as you like. All right, let's get our eggs out. I'm gonna chop up uh, one egg over the salad too. So I have egg, chicken tenders, and turkey bacon. I usually eat about six to eight ounces of protein per meal. So I usually like double on the protein and then less on the veggies and pretty much no starch for me. Uh, every once in a while, but not much. All right, we've got our little egg pod here. It's warm in my hand, so I love it. Looks like a little construction hat. Just got water on me. All right, so I'm going to rinse my eggs with cool water. All right, I'm gonna get a cutting board for our uh, chicken tenders. Let's get those cut. So again, we've got our chicken tenders. I just had these in the air fryer, maybe 10 minutes, just to get that nice little crisp on them. They're already cooked. And again, these are breaded in cauliflower. So let's get these cut. Just a rough chop with the knife, just so that it fits on the fork and in your mouth. So literally just doesn't have to be pretty. This is what I'm doing. Just chunks of chicken, but you see they're nice and warm. Ma! Leanne, you're never late to my class. Welcome, sweetheart. Love having you all here. We're doing a quick midday lunch again. Thank you, Mona. Let me put it up here. I am going to be on Suzette Speaks tonight. She has asked me to do a cooking demonstration. So she's given me a list of foods that uh, she's trying to incorporate into her diet. And uh, she's asked me to come up with some things that could be helpful for her. And I love the challenge. Leanne is really good at it. So you all feel free to spam me with recipes, whatever you want me to try. So you see our chicken tenders here are nice and cut up. Let me go for our turkey bacon. Still hot. It's black pepper turkey bacon. I wish it were real bacon, but I'm just going to fold it in half and kind of crumble it by hand just for the salty, savory bacon experience. I know y'all, but I'm trying to get the rest of this weight off. And um, you guys are here to help me. So I'm just tearing the bacon with my fingers. All right. So we've got our warm protein. We've got our turkey bacon crumbles and we've got our warm chicken. I've got an egg that I just boiled in the microwave. Let me go ahead and uh, open this and just cut it into like quarters. All right, so we boiled our egg in the microwave. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. Like I said, and then the extra protein too for me, you know, if you guys are busy, I know how it goes. I used to have that long commute and ripping and running and keeping up with the kids and all of that. But um, the extra protein keeps you fuller longer too. All right, so I just have my boiled egg here that I've cut up. All right, so I'm going to put this dressing in the microwave for like a hot second. Let me stir up the extra honey one more time. All right, so you guys see we made our own honey mustard, literally just mustard and my honey substitute. I'm gonna take, always have tasting spoons and keep them separate from what you used to cook with. 
Ooh, nice and tangy. Put this in the microwave, let's see, maybe 10 seconds. I just wanna warm it so that it drizzles nice on our spinach salad. All right, so let's start assembling. We have spinach. We have uh, crumbled goat cheese for me, could be feta for you. We have red pepper, yellow pepper, tomato. I'm gonna go ahead and put our boiled eggs on the corners. Uh, getting excited, y'all. All right, so here's the key. Oh crap, that's too long. See how I get excited? All right. Let me stir it. All right, we didn't want to cook it, but we just wanted, I like a warm dressing. If you want a cold dressing, I love these Walden Farms, and maybe I'll do both. Walden Farms makes a sugar-free, calorie-free, gluten-free dressings. I love this balsamic vinaigrette. They have ketchups. They have syrups, they have a lot of stuff. You guys will often hear, if you're new here, welcome. If you're already a Maggie Scholar, which you all have named yourself, welcome back. All right, just let me see if it's still lava hot. Mm -mm. Woo, yummy. You guys will hear me talking about beverages and condiments. You can make a lot of changes by what you put on your food and what you drink. I'll show you guys what we have so far. All right, so I always put some dressing on the veggies. Now I'm gonna put our crispy chicken, cauliflower coated chicken and turkey bacon. If you can have real chicken tenders, have them for me. And if you can have real bacon, please have some for me. But I'm gonna start with the bacon because the chicken is the star of the show. So we're just going to kind of get this all over. Some more pieces. I'm greedy and I want all of it. Uh, thank you, stay quiet. Y'all, we all eat with our eyes. And you know, the story of Maggie, the substitute teacher, you know, like I said, I'm a mom and a home cooker. You know, I am a former co corporate executive, but None of that really matters. So we have our turkey bacon. But when I started my health and wellness journey, you know, this is year three for me. And like I said, I'm down 75 pounds with at least 25 more to go. Now we're going to put our chicken tenders. <laughs> Leanne says I need a restaurant. Okay, so this is how it started. Leanne and I and others, you know, worked together for a year. So she remembers. I'm just putting the warm chicken on, you guys. Um... You know, I ate the typical American fast food, ripping and running, letting yourself get so hungry that you don't care. I ate all of that. And I had always carried around this extra weight. And then in our 40s or in my 40s, the weight problem started to turn into a health problem. I'm 46. And uh, again, I'm trying to age gracefully. But uh, I was pre-diabetic. I had elevated cholesterol, um, borderline blood pressure. Uh, borderline blood pressure. Mona, let me know if lead is still on because I don't want to take a time away from him. Uh, we're watching this Johnny Depp trial, y'all. But um, bottom line, all of that stuff is normal now without medication because of the changes that I've made. I had meetings canceled today too. So now we have dressing in the bottom and then to finish off, we're going to drizzle some more this is a sugar-free honey mustard that I just made. You guys saw. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm excited. I just made this up. But it, thank you, Miss Lady. But if I put this in front of you, would you eat it? I'm gonna do some fresh cracked black pepper just for a little bit of heat, completely optional. Okay, lead will be back after the lunch recess. Okay, so. We are gonna wrap this up. Usually I do a chat and chow with you guys, but I'm a moderator on TLA's channel and so I wanna get back to work for him. So I appreciate you guys being here. I will take a bite, but this is our crispy chicken tender salad with turkey bacon, 
red pepper, yellow pepper, boiled egg over spinach with a warm honey mustard drizzle. Lunch is served. <laughs> Let me take a quick picture and then I'll take a bite. I am going to inhale it. Y'all think I'm playing. Everything that I make here is what I'm going to eat. That's why I wanted to pop on because I haven't eaten yet. And I only eat two meals a day and I come live for you all to prepare them. All right, let me take a picture. I always take pictures of the meals that we make and they go on my YouTube community tab. Oh, I have an hour before he comes back. Lead is at lunch. <sighs> okay, so we'll sit and chat and chow. I was worried, y'all. I didn't want to, you know, take away from lead attorney. All right, so I'm just taking pictures. Anytime I make something, and I'll tell you guys the picture story, I always take pictures um, so that you all will see them on my community tab or my Instagram. I'm Maggie the Substitute Teacher on all platforms. So let's see, I'm gonna make a quick beverage and then we'll sit down, excuse me, anybody that wants to chat and chow, we'll eat together. Let me take a bite, just one bite, I'm hungry. I try and get a little bit of everything, but y'all, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Oh, you hear the crunch? I went in and I heard the crunch already. <sighs> All right, I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Tomato. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. Let me make a beverage so we're going to sit down and enjoy. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Here I come, y'all. Okay, so you were going to take our time and eat, and then you guys feel free to multitask in my class. When lead comes back on, somebody please let me know. I'm going to make a the same raspberry um, lemon uh, unsweet sweet tea. So if you're curious about that, one second, I'm gonna get it ready for you. So I believe in not wasting. I have some lemons and we've talked about three ways to use your lemons because we want to save money. No need to spend what we don't have to. Yes, Maria. Traveling is the pits. Yeah. Being on the go. It is hard. I know. Trust me, y'all. I've been there. So we're going to make a raspberry lemon tea. Yes, raspberry, lemon, unsweet, sweet tea. Like I said, beverages and condiments are the culprit. Even if you eat the same foods, y'all, this is good and I am hungry. Even if you eat the same foods, if you change some of your beverages and condiments, you can save a lot of calories. And we want to eat our calories, not drink them. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. The goat cheese. The little crumbles of white goat cheese, when the warm chicken hits it and they melt and they become creamy. All right, beverages. So if you watched last night, you saw I did a video on my top five favorite appliances. Lee attorney asked me to do that, so I wanted to make sure I completed that assignment. One of them is my Keurig, yes, for coffee, but there's so much other stuff. Hey, Amethyst, Amethyst is coming through. We're going to cook for her very soon, so you all stay tuned for that. But you can make cold beverages. You can make soups. There's a lot you can do. 
I am using this Lipton Unsweet Tea, and if you guys see here on the end, there's a little thing where you brew it hot over ice. So this is gonna go in the Keurig. And this is another little thing I have just for me. <gasps> Titanium, we have another channel sponsor. One moment, let me give him his uh, respect. Thank you so much, Titanium. Um, again, if you guys want to support the channel, it's completely optional. I appreciate everything, especially you just being here. But I don't see it when I'm live because I'm cooking. But thank you so much, Titanium. If you donate uh, to support uh, my channel, any amount, you are a channel sponsor for life. I just appreciate you all being here. So thank you so much, Titanium. Very generous. You didn't have to do that. So I appreciate you. The Cash App is, is there. If anybody wants to donate, never required. I'm just happy that you're here. I also have a Venmo and a PayPal. Okay. What were we talking about? Teas. Beverages. Yes. So my little pitcher, this is another thing that I like to have um, just for me because it's kind of, um, you know, I don't know. It just makes me feel fancy. I will make my unsweet tea in here and then I'll just continue to sip on it throughout the day. I have, of course, water, but unlimited unsweet tea and I'll show you guys how to make it without the sugar, but uh, still make something that you would like. All right, so first step for me, I always start with these alkaline drops. I need a refill, they're getting low. My test results revealed that I was more acidic and I needed to drink more alkaline water. I was drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, and it was just going through me. It wasn't staying to hydrate me. So my metabolic specialist said, drink alkaline water. Of course, you can buy it already in the bottles, but for me, it's expensive. So you can make your own. $14 at Amazon. I believe the link is in the description. It turns tap into alkaline water. So I'm just going to put a few drops in there, and then... I'm going to go fill this up in the fridge with ice. Maria, I love you too. All right. Yes. I was thinking, do I want to make the glass or do I want to? Okay, it's all right. Focus, Maggie. So how you can use your lemon three ways. <laughs> so this is a lemon that I zested. We took the oils off the skin. If you guys saw the blueberry pancakes that I made, we used the lemon zest. You can also juice it. So I'm going to put some lemon. If you have the pourable one, just use that. But I'm going to juice the lemon. I'll show you guys another little cute gadget. From Walmart, a little lemon juicer. It's got the holes here. Thank you all. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. You put the lemon open side down, and then you're going to squeeze. Oh, my hands are strong enough. <laughs> into whatever you're juicing and it catches the seeds. I gotta set it down so I can use two hands. Okay. Completely optional. You can just do the tea, but if you like lemon in your tea, these are the things that I do that make me feel fancy and keep me on track. So then once you've juiced it, you have this part left. I wouldn't toss it. I'll show you what I do. One moment. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this underneath the Keurig and brew the unsweet tea into, into here. What we have is the ice, the lemon juice, and the alkaline drops. I'm coming to the comments, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> all right, let me take another bite. What are y'all saying? I'm real. Remind you of when you're doing something and some... Y'all! This is not a real cooking show. This is me in my kitchen trying to keep it together. And when the family is here, mm. Mm. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. 
The Realist Cooking Show. Thank you, Mona. So I have a glass. I take the lemon that I've juiced. It would be nicer if it was a slice, but whatever. I don't want to waste. I'll put this in here and I'm going to pour my tea over here so I can continue to get that lemon flavor. And I'll use the same glass and just continue to re-pour. But I got a special ingredient. This is a real cooking show. <laughs> this is the real cooking show, right? Y'all know when they get that stuff out of the oven and it's already done and it's like presto changeo. I will tell you if it's good, I'll tell you. If it's not good, I'll tell you. All right, so we have our iced tea in here, unsweet. I just brewed it over, I don't wanna spill. I just brewed it over ice, alkaline drops, and fresh squeezed lemon. So Leanne has a challenge. All right, y'all, I'm gonna pull up my chair. We'll chat and chow. I'm coming to the comments, but I'm hungry, so I wanna sit down. I am a huge fan of these skinny syrups. I don't know if the link is in there yet, but I think uh, Mona put it in there, skinnymixes.com. This is my grenadine, sugar-free grenadine substitute. This is raspberry. They have all the flavors. I make everything unsweet, and then I add my own flavor. Zero sugar, zero calorie, but this is where the sweet comes from. You guys have seen me put it in yogurt to make a fruit dip. You've seen me put it in coffee. So in the glass, I put that much a little or a lot, whatever you like. Big Bad Bull, we have another channel sponsor in the house. I got to get some, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have a soundboard. I don't have confetti. I need a pom-pom for you guys. But thank you so much. Big Bad Bull was actually the first to donate to uh, the channel. So grateful every time that you're here. Um, again, if you guys want to donate, it's completely optional. I'm just so happy that you're here. But I do have a cash app if you want to donate, support the show. I also have a Venmo and there's a PayPal. So thank you. Um, I appreciate everything. And uh, hit the like button if you don't mind, please, if you like what I'm doing. All right. So now over our raspberry syrup, so this replaces like those pump syrups that you see in the coffee houses or the ice cream places, we're gonna pour our unsweet tea over the raspberry sugar-free syrup. Stir it up and drink it. Let me get a straw. Oh. I need to move those. Please don't come at me about the turtles. I love the environment. I can't do the paper and the metal freaks me out. I'm like, is it really clean? <sighs> so, and then our lemon is in the bottom. So our lemon raspberry tea, if I had a lemon slice here, it would look even prettier. Oh my gosh, let me know about the subs, y'all. I don't know, I haven't looked, I'm scared to look. Ooh, oh my gosh. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get my chair. So this is what we're having. I've started eating it already, but this corner is still our crispy chicken tender salad, breaded with cauliflower, drizzled with warm honey mustard over turkey bacon, spinach, red, yellow pepper, and tomato, and feta cheese. I mean, goat's cheese for me, my feta substitute. All right, let me get a chair and let's chat. All right, so y'all, let me move you down, Instagram. Oh dear, here I come. Oh, y'all, you see me in my life. <laughs> All right, let me move y'all down. Let's see, is the chair, okay. Hold on, jeez. All right, I got my towel and my fork. <laughs> okay all right am i coming apart y'all i'm just trying to keep it together all right now how's everybody doing oh amethyst says i'm gonna have even more after tonight with suzette yes and yes all right class so this is what i'm having 
my fried chicken salad or chicken tender salad and my raspberry lemon unsweet sweet tea. Mm. I should call it a sugar-free sweet tea. All right. Now I get to slow down and eat with y'all. So again, yes, I am so honored. Suzette Speaks has asked me to do, I don't even know if I can call it a collaboration, but I guess it's a collaboration. I'm just so honored. She has um, given me a food list of different foods that she's thinking about incorporating, and she wants me to do a cooking demonstration live. So she will be talking, I will be cooking. So that's tonight. 9 15 p.m. Eastern. So please come through and um, if you like what I'm doing, I always appreciate the um, subscribers. I was going to say subscriptions. I just got off a call for work. We were talking about subscriptions. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, it's so good. Sorry, the lipstick. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, Mona. Yes, Maria, there's a link. I'm going to scroll back, y'all. Thank you, Mona, the moderator. Please shout out your channel. If you guys have a channel or a business, please put it in the comments so we can put it up for you. You guys are here to support me, so I want to support you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Big Bad Bull. Skinny Mixes. Okay, so Leanne says she has a challenge. You want a signature... Okay, you want Maggie... So we have Maggie Cakes. Now you want a Maggie Pie. Like a dessert. You know what I'm thinking about making? Either a cheesecake or a creme brulee. I have a couple recipes. Um, I have like the crackers, the substitute for the graham crackers. I think I want to make a cheesecake and make my own like strawberry, oh my God, strawberry syrup. What do y'all, y'all vote? Creme brulee or um, strawberry cheesecake? A lot. What's happening a lot, Maria? Y'all, I'm slow. Mmm. 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 The red onion got a little bite to it, but it's good with the creaminess of the egg and... Oh. Spinach leaves are fighting me, but I'm fighting back. You've never made creme brulee? I've never made it either, but y'all... I'm sorry, y'all. I want to be elegant for you. I really do. Y'all who know me know that I'm part of a travel group and I travel every year. In our first trip, when I went to Paris, the best creme brulee of my life, of course, was in the Louvre, which is um, a museum. And we went to the restaurant there in Paris. It was just heavenly. And um, I've had some that are close. The only thing is you need to be able for the creme brulee. I need that torch thingy. Don't laugh at me. But, okay, for the creme brulee, you make a custard and you bake it. And then you put sprinkled sugar on top. And you use like that flame torch thing to burn it. So you get that crackly crust because you need to crack into it. And then you have the cracky sugary crust and the custard inside. I think the one in Paris, it may have had some like whiskey or some, some rum or something. When I tell you that melted. <laughs> I'm a foodie, y'all. I like to eat. That's why I got to make sure that I get the good stuff because... Y'all already know. But y'all like to eat too. That's why you're here. Hair is falling apart. Um, but yes, so don't laugh at me, but I don't have one of those flame torch thingies. Bunsen burner. I don't know what it's called, y'all. I'm not a real chef. I'm just a home cooker. So I was going to use my Andrea. It's amazing. I'll show you what we have, sweetheart. 
I was gonna use my candle lighter. Let me show y'all. If I tried to make my creme brulee with this, y'all would clown me so bad. So, you know, that's what supporting the show does. I actually get proper equipment so y'all don't laugh, laugh me out of town. But I need a, um, I guess Bunsen burner. I need a flame thingy that can burn. I don't know what it's called. Maria says there's a place in New Orleans that makes creme brulee on a plate. Excuse me, so the cream is thin and there's a bite of sugar in each spoon. Lord mercy. So good. What is titanium talking about now? He says titanium always talking about being first. Okay, Andrea La Loca. Today I made a um, chicken tender salad. Pictures will be up on my community tab before I went in here with turkey bacon over spinach, warm honey mustard, uh, fresh cracked pepper, boiled egg, tomato, Goat's cheese, yellow and red pepper. Um, I don't know, what is titanium talking about, y'all? Oh, do we already say titanium? Another channel subscriber? I mean, sponsor. Thank you, yes, I did say that. Y'all, you have to help me. For 40 years, I ate the typical American diet. So for the next 40, I'm going to be here cooking it up with y'all. And when I lose my train of thought, you're just going to have to help Maggie as Maggie gets old. But um, I'm going to give you what I got. I'm going to give you my best. I'm going to be sharp for you while I can. Boot Butane torch. Thank you. Oh my God, y'all go to the front of the buffet line. This is hilarious. So, oh, I lost track. I thought we were talking about how Maggie the substitute teacher started. So in all seriousness, um, when I started my health and wellness journey, you know, because I do love to cook and um, I've been told I'm good at presentation. You know, like I said, I work from home, thankfully. And what I do, I used to keep the news on. But that is too depressing. So now I keep the cooking channels on. I follow everything. Bon Appetit, Food Network. I have it on the screensaver for my Echo. Um, all of that stuff. But I keep it on mute during the day, you know, when I'm working. And so what I'll do is I'll just have it playing and it'll just go through and I'll see beautiful recipes created and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh, man. That looks so good, but I can't have that, and I can't have that, and I can't have that. But if I substitute, I can make this kind of a version of that. So that's where the substitutions came from. And then what I would do is I would post the finished product on social media. You know, my, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. YouTube is new. Um. But I would post the finished product and my friends, Leanne and different people who know me from way back when would say, did you make that? And I'm like, yeah, I made it. So people didn't think I was actually cooking. I don't know what people thought I was doing, but it's fine. I understand. Um, and I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. So then what I started doing, y'all, is I would post the before and after. So I would post the ingredients and then the finished product. And people were like, ah, okay. Then they would say, how did you make that? So then I was going back into the comments and I was telling people first you do this and then you do that. And then lead attorney, our favorite lead attorney. Uh, and I'm relatively new to him too, but he said it again today. If you're over 35, I've shared with y'all, I'm 46. If you're over 35, you have knowledge that people need to know. Because I'm just sitting here thinking, everybody already knows how to do it. It's just a salad. But one day it struck me and Lead was like, you need to make a YouTube channel. So I'm like, okay, I'll make a YouTube channel. Because when I would post online, people would say, that looks amazing. 
you need a cookbook because you do need a cookbook. Um, you need a cookbook. When you make a cookbook, I want an autographed copy, you know, and I always just to put it off. Oh yeah, one day I'll do it. You know, when the kids are gone or whatever. Then Lee said, you need a YouTube channel. I was like, okay, I cook every day anyway. So I'm just turning the camera on and bringing y'all in the kitchen with me. And my first few videos were really me just narrating. It was the still picture and I was up in the corner and it was just me narrating. First you do this, then you do this, then you do this. And then someone was like, are you going to have actual cooking demonstrations? And I'm like, never thought about that. People actually want to watch you cook. I thought y'all just want to see like, what is the final product? So I turned on the camera when I come in the kitchen and I never looked back. Amethyst. Sweetheart, I am so glad. Y'all, I'm sorry for speaking and eating, but y'all make me so happy. We all have something that we're passionate about and we learn from each other. In this community, everybody is welcome. If you love to eat, you have a place in my class. <laughs> we have another star in the house. Y'all look who's here, Gail at night. The product, the finished product will be on my community tab. I get excited, but I don't want to be rude. It's very, very good. We're all on our lunch break from TLA, right? We'll go back to moderating and following this case. But I have to thank you, uh, Gail at night. Y'all know she's amazing. Please subscribe to her channel. Uh, I met Gail uh, at Lead Attorney's Meetup. That's kind of where this thing all started. I started following Lead. I made a channel. I showed up on his show a couple times. He was like, anybody in Atlanta want to get together? And I'm like, heck yeah. It was at a restaurant too. Y'all know I'm greedy. So that's kind of where it all started. If you look at my page and you sort by, I think like most viewed, I think the video that I did about lead attorneys meetup um, is kind of like the highest viewed now because everybody wanted to know what he was like in person. So I talked about the whole experience and Gail did an amazing job setting it up. It was a pleasure to meet her in person. Take another bite. Mmm. <laughs> I see you, Leanne. Let me try it. So Leanne is saying bagel seasoning would be good on the salad. This is a great seasoning. It's got, you guys can see sesame seeds, salt, pepper. I don't know what else is in here, but it makes stuff look pretty. An easy way to improve your presentation. So you could put this on eggs. I don't know if it's showing up, but everything bagel seasoning. So basically, if you like a bagel, but you don't eat bagels anymore. So let's try some of this on this chicken tender salad. You guys can see my sesame seeds and everything on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maria, come on down. Did y'all hear Lee talking about AV is coming to Maggie's cookout? There's really good food in Atlanta, probably too good. But Gail, yes, we had an amazing time. Y'all, it was just so good because I am well aware of what happens in these YouTube streets, but on my channel, we keep it about the food, we keep it fun, we keep it positive. And I am an optimist. I believe in the best of people. Sometimes, you know, that comes back to bite me. But, you know, you guys know me well enough to know, you know, I'm kind of a softie. 
but uh, it's just really, it was so nice to meet the faces behind the names and to really just spend time in fellowship with people. Lead was there, relaxed. He had on t-shirt jeans and sneakers. He said, come casual, come as you are. Some of the names that you guys see scrolling through the chat, um, Steel Curtain, of course, Gail, Before the Billions, Jonathan Barrenville, so many people just to shake hands and say, oh, you're so-and-so. And people are like, Maggie, you look the same. I'm like, I hope so. Um, but yeah, we had an amazing time. So this really is a wonderful community. Let me see if I missed a question. Ooh, shrimp and grits down the street from your hotel. Oh, y'all, shrimp and grits. Look, let me tell you something. I'm going to get this weight off. And I am going to eat this way for the rest of my life. But I do believe in enjoying myself. Like when I travel, just came back from Costa Rica for spring break. And I finally got them rice and beans off. Y'all, we ate rice and beans every day with every meal. Like for breakfast, rice and beans and plantains. And I was there for nine days and I ate it. And so I had to work on that. But the vacation weight is off. But that shrimp and grits, shrimp and grits sounds amazing. I would probably... <laughs> starches are my are my um my struggle but what was i gonna say oh titanium if you're still on i missed your question from yesterday i think it was you that asked if i can have crab because i was telling the nana story about the shrimp but yes i can have crab i can't have lobster lobster came up on my no-no list but i can have crab and shrimp hmm. Mm. Ooh, Gail has an update, y'all. Gail is telling us something. Mm. Lee has been saying he's going to have another meetup. That would be fun. Y'all, there's so many people here in Atlanta. Thank you for letting me eat my salad. And let me know when our lunch break is over, when Lee goes back on. Y'all know we got to go back over and watch him. But um, Lee has been saying that there's going to be another meetup here in Atlanta. So that would be so fun. I'm going to plug Amethyst right now. She helped me get my affiliate links together because y'all know I'm old and I didn't understand. But we did a Zoom meeting and she helped me. And so to thank her and to pay her back, I'm cooking for her. So tentatively look for us uh, early May. And I let her pick whatever she wants. And she wanted chicken and rice. So I'm going to do the Latin version. I asked her. She said yes. Excuse me. So I'm going to do arroz con pollo, which is chicken and rice. And I'm going to make the full flavor version because I still cook all the stuff. You know, the Maggie cakes, excuse me, other stuff that I've come up with has been my inspiration from, you know, cooking for the boys. I still give them full flour, pancakes, bisquick. Oscar Mayer bacon, log cabin syrup, all that's in the house. I just can't have it. So Amethyst is going to come over. She's here in the Atlanta area. I'm going to cook for her and she's going to taste it and tell you guys what it thinks, what uh, what she thinks in real time. My palate has completely changed. So when you guys tell me the food is good, when you make it or when the kids are here, because you know, they eat everything. Um, I appreciate that. Who's doing a happy dance? Oh, Amethyst is excited for her plate. And I'll pack you some to go. Pack it all, because I can't eat it. But yeah, I love cooking and serving others. That's just the way my mom raised me. Um, if you saw my interview with Uncle Stu, you know, I come from an immigrant family, humble beginnings. Um, mom and dad were born and raised in Ghana. So I was born in Ghana, but we came here when I was one. So I've grown up in the States, but with African parents and, you know, they were strict and I appreciate it. And so my dad was like, Maggie, watch your mom. So that's how I learned. But we all start somewhere. Mmm. Maria is asking if I make sofrito. I haven't before. And I don't want to seem ignorant. But define it. I'm thinking of the... um. I got an eyelash or something. I'm thinking of, is that the vegetable, um, like the vegetable trinity? Or tell me what's in sofrito. And then I'll make it for you. Oh, that was the other thing. For any of my channel sponsors. So, so far we have three. Big Bad Bull. Titanium. 
and Condemnia. Condemnia has already gotten his. But you can choose whatever you want for me to cook and we'll make an episode just for you. So you guys can see Condemnia's veggie omelet from, was it over the weekend or late last week? And uh, literally, you're walking me through in the chat exactly how you want it. And I will prepare uh, a meal just for you. Um, I'll eat it, but I'll make whatever you like. <laughs> hmm. So, um, but yeah, let me know. What is sofrito? Y'all, I should have cut the stems off this spinach. So, one moment. <laughs> Mm, mm. Mm, good. Glad you all are connecting. Again, this is my sugar-free sweet tea. Raspberry lemon unsweet sweet tea. <sighs> Save your money. Save your calories. You can get the $1 unsweet tea, like from McDonald's or whatever. They do have unsweet. And then just keep the little syrups. They make the small ones. Doctor it up yourself. Save your calories. Ah, I knew it was. So sofrito, garlic, onion, green pepper, cilantro, culantro. I'm not familiar with culantro. Ground up and used as a base. I thought that's what that was. And what do you use it in a base for? Your soups and stews. My mom does the same thing. When Nana comes back on, she gets her African spices and she grinds them. Or she blend, blends them. So she cuts them up and puts them in the blend, blender. Ginger, garlic, tomato. And then she puts them in ice cube trays. So you have your little, like making your own little like veggie bouillon cube, frozen. So when you're making soups and stews, you just pop out a little ice cream, ice cream, ice cube tray and put it in there. Y'all, this is so good. Even when it cools down, mm. the chicken and rice, Maria, I'm making it from scratch for amethyst. I sent her a recipe. She's approved it. So we're going to make it all from scratch. I'm going to brown the chicken. I'm going to make the base. I'm going to get the. <clears throat> is it pronounced saison? Saison? Y'all know that, um, I thought maybe I had it. That Latin spice. I'm going to do all of that. Mmm, scrambled eggs. That sounds good. Dottie girl is here. Dottie from the UK. It's almost gone, y'all. But it was good. It is good. Cauliflower chicken tenders. Chicken tenders, breaded in cauliflower, but real, real white meat chicken, y'all, but breaded in cauliflower instead of um, flour. Mm. I love the recipes. I'm going to be here cooking for y'all every day, just Maggie in the kitchen. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. Ooh. Tomato. When you bite down and you get that mm, tomato juice or whatever it is with the sweet, tangy mustard. Y'all. It's like a lot of flavor. It's so good. And I like my own food because that's, you know, whether you're on a weight loss journey or whatever, if you like to eat, that is not going to change. There are some people who are like, there are some people that are like, um, I don't really care about food. Um, it's just a, um, you know, just need something to not be hungry. That is not me. Food is an experience. Almost done. Mmm. And the peppers. Mmm. What are y'all having for lunch? Our lead attorney break. Let me tell you something. Okay. I'm going to preach for like 30 seconds. Not really. We're all listening to this Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Is that her name? I don't know. Trial. 
And I'm here to support lead attorney and so grateful to be a moderator on his channel. But I just feel that I should say what we're seeing in their relationship, it's not normal. And in my opinion, I'm not a doctor. It's definitely not healthy. And I'm a divorcee, you know, I'm amicably divorced from uh, my children's father. But what I'm seeing in this trial is disturbing. And I'm serious that the first time, you know, when Lee did this last week, I didn't sleep well. The violence, the yelling at each other, the... I don't even know what this is. It's so foreign to me. And I've had disagreements and, you know, of course, you know, my parents have been together forever and my... Um, I still call them in-laws, you know, we're together until my mother-in-law passed, God rest her soul. But this is just not how relationships are supposed to be. That's all I'm going to say about it. All right. <laughs> we keep it light and positive here, but I just felt like somebody needed to hear that. So anyway, y'all, I am down to the, and it's so good. Hmm. Mmm, mm, chicken salad sandwich and chicken tortilla soup. Mmm. 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 You're giving me some inspiration. Chicken tortilla soup. I wonder if I use the... Leanne, you're good. Those little sesame on the salad gives it a nice little salty crunch. Mmm. Um, yes, the chicken tortilla soup. I wonder if I could make that with my cassava tortillas. I like, you know how Chick-fil-A has the tortilla soup and they give you those little crispy uh, tortillas that you put on the top? Mm. Maria says she bought the soup at Publix. I may have to find a recipe for that. I was going to ask you your recipe. Look, y'all, I understand. I've been corporate since college, and for 20 years, I was ripping and running. <clears throat> when I worked for Coke, that was a great corporate experience, great executive position, but I had a two-hour commute each way. And, um, you know, because I'm divorced, it's just me, which is, you know, fine. Their dad is great. He gets the boys every weekend and then some. But ripping and running after work, trying to pick up kids, two kids in two different schools. I have one in private and one in charter. Trying to put a meal together, homework, dinner, all that, and then do it again the next day. I know the pandemic has really hurt a lot of people, and I'm so sorry for that. But for me, it was the reset that I needed. And, uh, you know, I've told this story before. A software company found me online on LinkedIn. And she said, we're looking for someone with your background. She said, but I have to ask you a question. What would you say to 100% work from home even after the pandemic? And I was like, what? <laughs> That's a thing? Because before, it was a form you have to fill out. Somebody has to sign it. It's, it, you know... A lot of good things came with that, you know, corporate grind and, um, you know, a lot of stuff, <laughs> years, <laughs> uh, just sitting in traffic. So um, having access to the kitchen has really helped me to stay on track, plus the stuff that I share with you all. Excuse me. So, you know, I understand. I've been there when you're just coming off of work and you're hungry. Look. Do what you can. You know, we'll always share with each other, but I say do what you can. But I love being in the kitchen. It's my happy place. You know, it was the way that I was raised. And I remember like, I'm not trying to fight it because what am I going to do? Nine years old, but prepping veggies and just watching my mom. And she was like, who's going to cook for your children if you can't cook? I don't know. I don't have kids. I'm 10. But, um, you know, fast forward, you know, you get married, you have children, sometimes you get divorced and life happens. But um, here we are staying positive and uh, you eat every day. So whatever little changes you can make, 
I'm here to help inspire. Ooh, Gail at night is having a taco salad. That sounds yummy. I did that last week, I believe, with these cauliflower. Let me know if anybody wants to see them. Cauliflower has been a great substitute for me. From the ground up has these cauliflower chips. And I haven't had my snack yet. Maybe I should have some chips and salsa. If we still have time. One moment, please. If we're still on lunch break, I figure I'll make my snack. Yes. So this is what I went to get, y'all, when uh, Gail said um, taco salad. Here's another substitute for you if you like chips and salsa. <laughs> da, 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 da. You can get these at Walmart. I think I got them at BJ's. You can order them online. This brand called From the Ground Up. They have tortillas, crackers, they have all veggie, oh, they're veggie straws. They have these things called cauliflower stalks, if you like a veggie straw. Veggie straws are made out of potato flour. These are made out of cauliflower. Okay. You guys can see here, it looks like a tortilla chip. It tastes like a tortilla chip. I'm allowed 16 per day, and yes, I count them. One moment, please. I needed a bigger container. Some of them fell in my lap. But portion control, I always put my snacks. This is like a little ramekin that my creme brulee should be in. This is just a little ramekin and then I'm gonna put my salsa in. Oh, so good. Nice and salty. Great substitute for nachos, taco salads, cauliflower. So let me close the big bag. That's something that you can do. Portion out your snacks and then put the container away. I never eat out of the bag and I don't let the kids do that either. One, if you share with people, you shouldn't be reaching in there. But two, you can overeat if you eat out of the bag. So I know my portion and I stick to that. So I'm literally just going to have these cauliflower chips and regular old store-bought salsa. If I had some fresh pico, that would be awesome. Ooh, mango pineapple salsa. Oh, I can't have my mango or pineapple yet. But yes, that sounds amazing. I had all of that in Costa Rica. Papaya, mango, fresh. Y'all, when I tell you they would make this spread and you would still see the peelings in the sink. Oh my God, it was so good. But yeah, whatever salsa you like, whatever you like. This is just regular old store, but it's medium. It's got a little heat to it. But I'm going to show you guys. Now, this is not like a Dorito substitute because it doesn't have like nacho cheese, but it is a great like tortilla chip. And it holds up well. If you guys saw when I did the nachos, even loaded with um, beef and um, cheese and all that stuff. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So someone just texted me asking about the um, food sensitivity test. So 
if you are watching, you know who you are, but that's fine, y'all. Some people like to watch anonymously, which is completely fine. I'm just happy that you're here. I think it's pinned in the description, but I am seeing a metabolic specialist at Locked In Wellness, L-O-C-K-E-D-I-N wellness.com. So lockedinwellness.com. Nancy Masood, beautiful Lebanese woman. She's changed my life because I always thought, you know, I'm just a big girl. I'm big boned, all that stuff that we tell ourselves. That popcorn. Ooh, we, I'm coming to that. But when I went into her office, you know, I saw a coworker that lost weight and I was like, how did you lose it? Right? Cause we've all, I've tried Weight Watchers. I've tried Nutrisystem and all of that stuff works. But if you can't stick with it after you've lost the weight, y'all know what happens. And so when I went in and Nancy took one look at me and she said, you're really not that big. Your frame is not that big. You're not big boned anything. You just have a lot of inflammation. And I was like, I've never heard that before. Cause I come from an average sized family. I was always a chubby kid, always the one on diets. Y'all know, or maybe you don't, maybe it's just me. And so we did the food sensitivity test. So I did the test in her office. It was a cheek swab on the inside. So like a Q-tip looking thing that I opened up and she went around on the inside, put it in a little bag or whatever. And then some hair samples, not a lot, just like a little baby lock of hair. Excuse me. Mailed it off and she was like, I'll call you in a few days with your results. So like three, four days later, I get a call. She emails me the results. And then she calls me. We have a consultation over the phone. Y'all, I was shocked because the stuff that came up on my test results was the stuff that I eat every day, all the time. Chicken, coffee, citrus, dairy, gluten. And I'm looking at this. I'm like, I eat this stuff all the time. What the heck am I supposed to eat? That's where the substitutions came in. So I started substituting stuff that was on my no-no list with stuff that I could have. So tea instead of coffee, apples instead of oranges, um, turkey instead of chicken, those kind of substitutions and all the joint pain and, you know, um, all the stuff that I thought was just getting older, the bloated, the um, need a nap after you eat, like all that stuff went away within 48 hours. I was shocked. I just thought I had been limping around and taking pain pills forever. Y'all see how I move in this kitchen? I just thought, well, I'm, you know, getting older. And in 48 hours, you haven't really lost a lot of weight, but you may be eating things that are causing your body, you know, issues. And you think it's just acne or migraine or um, uh, joint pain or weight gain or whatever. Look, I'm not a doctor. But um, since the question was asked, that's what I did. So I went to Locked In Wellness, but a couple other things that you guys can try, because I'm doing like the whole program with the meal plan and all that stuff, but you can just do the test if you're curious. There's a company called Everly Well, E-V-E-R-L-Y-L-W-E-L-L, everlywell.com. They have mail order food sensitivity tests, but theirs is a finger stick. So they'll mail you a kit, you prick your finger, drop the blood on the sample collection thingy and mail it back. And then they email you your report of all the foods that you're sensitive to. And then once you get that information, it's up to you what you want to do with it, but it's good to know. Um, and then the third option is I've heard some people can get this done at their doctor. So you can go in and ask for a full nutrition panel and they'll do testing to let you know. Because guys, what I've learned is it's not the stuff that you eat from time to time. It's the stuff that you eat all of the time. So of course, when I travel, when I go on vacation, I enjoy myself. I have whatever. I know I'm going to feel like, Hurr. but I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'm going to eat it. And then I know how to get right back on track. Um, so hopefully that helps the person that texted me. Yes, food elimination diet is what I did. Maria says her doctor says she needs to lose 40 pounds. You get, y'all, this pandemic was hard on a lot of people. I already started heavy. I can't imagine if I had put on pandemic weight. So I'm like, oh, y'all, lead attorneys live. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go. Thank you for being here. Look for me tonight with Suzette Speaks, but I'm going to hop on over to lead.
and I'll talk to you guys in the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all, and we'll see you tonight. Okay, Instagram. Yes, thanks, you guys. Hop on over. All right, and goodbye. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.